she's gonna be close to the pace. Make the rider today. Trevor Simpson made over almost 80 grand this year. A win here would put her almost at the hundred thousand dollar mark. Assiniboine Downs is proud to present our featured field for race number six, the 20th running of the Jack Hardy Daily Double Super Facta Triactor Quinella Exactor Win Play Show Wagering. They're going to go a mile and a 16th for a purse of $30,000. Number one is La Palme d'Amour, owned by BEA Holdings, trained by Marvin Buffalo with Ronaldo Cumberbatch. Number two is Quinsway, owned by Jerry Antoniak and Jody Quinn, trained by Robin Martins with Tyrone Nelson. Number three is Portalis, owned by Terry Props, trained by Charlie Smith with Trevor Simpson. Number four is A Girl's Gotta Do, owned by Last Call Stable, trained by Shelley Brown with Adolfo Morales. Number five is Magical Powder, owned by Alan Ken Johnson, Trained by Gary Danielson with Jennifer Reed. Number six is Bettina's Rose. Owned by Rose and Crown Stable. Trained by Rob Attress with Christopher Husbands. Number seven is Dinah Shields. Owned by Jerry Lambert. Trained by Shelley Brown with Chevy and Chow. Number eight is Key to Glory. Owned by K5 Stable. Trained by Shelley Brown with Adrian Ramos. Rounding out our featured field is number nine, Whisper to Me Softly. Owned by Janet Saylor, trained by Ardell Saylor with Paul Nolan. Following the running of the Jack Hardy ASDC. And now just waiting on Whisper to Me Softly. And they'll be set. They're at the post. And they're off in the Jack Hardy. From the inside, that's going to be a girl's got to do who wants some action and wants a lead and is going to get it. Pressing from the outside, looks like Bettina's Rose settling back. Or actually, that's going to be Magical Powder settling back in third is Portales. To the outside is Dinah Shields. La Palme d'Amour grabs the rail. It's another length back to whisper to me softly. And then it's going to be Quinn's away, and the trailer's going to be Kita Gloria. They went the opening quarter in a quick 23 and 3, and a girl's got to do, and Magical Powder are banging it out on the front end. Portalis sitting in a great position in third. Dinah Shields inching up closer in fourth. Fifth still a Palm d'Amour. And getting into it from the back of the field is Quinzaway, Bettina's Rose, and Kita Gloria. They went the half in 49 seconds, and Magical Powder took the lead, but now Portalis goes on by. Dinah Shields is in a drive and now taking second position. Falling back in third is Magical Powder. Making a rally in fourth is Quinn's away. And in between horses, Bettina's Rose and Kita Glory. They hit the head of the lane and Portalis has now opened up daylight on the field by some five lengths. Portalis looking good and trying to go over the $100,000 mark. Rallying for second, Bettina's Rose. And third, Kita Glory and fourth. Dyna Shields. Now entering the winner's enclosure is the official winner of the 20th running of the Jack Hardy. That's number three, Portalis. Portalis is a dark bay or brown filly, three years old by Sharp Humor. Out of the mare, just a sprinkle by Gilded Time. Owned by Terry Props, trained by Charlie Smith, and ridden a victory by Trevor Simpson. Time for the mile on the 16th, 151. 
On hand in the winner's enclosure, ASD's CEO, Darren Dunn, will make a presentation to the winning connections. Race 6 is official, and ladies and gentlemen, here are your official combo payoffs. For a $2 win play show on number 3, Portales, which is combo number 1, pays $7.80. For a $2 quest of the Jack Hardy, Rob. Thanks, Kurt. We're down here at the winning connections of the $30,000 Jack Hardy stakes. Trevor Simpson, the pinch hitter in the bottom of the ninth inning here. Charlie Smith, the winning trainer. What a superb race by this filly. She's got a dream trip sitting behind the speed, and she drew off to win very convincingly. Trevor, talk a little bit about uh, just what the kind of the trip was, what the plan going is was, and then just just a quick word about the filly. Well, Mr. Charlie gave me a series in good, in good instructions. So I must break smartly. I just take my time and being confident in this house. And then when the three ace, I must ask her to, ask her to run and don't give up at her in the straight. Yeah, she really did run a great race. Uh, were you at all ever concerned the two horses in front of you were going pr really quickly? Were you worried at all about anybody coming behind you or did you pretty much feel you had a whole bunch of horses underneath you? Yeah, sure, I got a, a lot of horses in me, so when I reached around by the three, so I, I asked her a little bit and then tried to relax back on her. And then I you know, go to the quad and call up and ask her to run more. Congratulations, Trevor. We're going to move on to the trainer, uh, Charlie Smith, here. Uh, okay. oh. I just want to say thanks to Charlie and my agent, Lucky. Thank yeah, you. good job by everybody here for the last minute, little change of plans. Awesome run by the Philly. We'll talk a little bit about the plan coming in. We saw her work the other day, and she worked absolutely tremendously. Uh, she's obviously been in good form. She ran well at Canterbury, and she seems to love this racetrack. All she does is seem to hear win here. So just talk a little bit about the race, and then we'll talk a little bit about moving forward. Well, she does love it up here. She just thrives here. And uh, I told a couple of guys this week, she's trained as well the last 10 days since we got up here as she has all year long. Very smart filly, wants to win, which is a big ingredient, but does love this surface, does love the – she likes it all. She even likes these – they're kind of – I'm not knocking them, but they're kind of smaller stalls here in some of the places she races. And she's a big filly, but she seems to love it in there uh, and just eats it up. I uh, want to say hi to Terry, Lola, and Maddie at home because we kind of all got split up. We can't leave any of them out. And I want to encourage all the fans of Winnipeg that love racing. Uh, the season's almost done, but next year you really ought to start drifting into the track kitchen in the Martin C. Berry's track kitchen. It's the best in the Midwest, and I've eaten at most of them. But uh, it, jockeys are in there, trainers are in there, fans are in there, and it's just kind of a good camaraderie. It's, Winnipeg's an extreme extremely fun place to race because it's just not everybody trying to stab you in the back every time you turn around, which can happen down south Louisiana. Uh, but we thought the filly ran huge. Um, she's done everything we've asked over this year, and I, you know. Yeah, she really did everything you could possibly ask for there. Uh, tremendous win here. Uh, they ran a pretty snappy time for what the track's been lately. You've been all over the Midwest now. She's been, had a kid of a long campaign. Do you have a kind of a future goal now here, or what's the plan? Yeah, the plan is we're going to put her. We're going to go home. Uh, we've got some babies to break, and we beat our stock up pretty hard down in Canterbury this year. We're just going to go home, break babies, and wait till the first of the year. There's not really any more three-year-old stakes around far. Uh, I'm going to let her mature a little bit before we throw her to the four-year-olds. But she's she's versatile. She can do a lot of things. And we knew from last year she could sprint, and uh, and she looks like these two routes she's run up here are pretty nice routes. So. Uh, She'll get a little breather, and uh, and then Terry's got some in the pipeline down home from some of the stakes winners from here in the years past, and we're hoping to be back in Winnipeg next year, at least for some of the stakes with some of them. Yeah, we're excited to see what the future holds here. Hopefully we see a little more of you here next year. Congratulations to the winning connections of the Jack Hardy Stakes, Charlie Smith, Trevor Simpson, Terry Profs. Back up to you, Kurt. Thank you very much, Rob. In the upcoming